The Queen is still resting at home with the hope of getting herself better in time for Remembrance Sunday. The Duchess of Cornwall is reportedly being lined up to carry out some of Her Majesty's duties, while some are suggesting Harry should come back to help as well. Um, what do we make of it so far, Sophie? I mean, I think she should just be rested up completely. Yes, <laughs> she should. At her age, she should, shouldn't she? And that includes not going on Zoom, because mm. that is still work, isn't it? Mm. If you're at home, you should be not working. But I think if she's thinking about, or if any of them are thinking about future-proofing the monarchy and thinking about the popularity of the monarchy with younger people, I think Camilla, while she might not be unpopular, certainly Harry and Meghan would be more popular. They are mental health campaigners, they really resonate. So I think if you're going to think about someone stepping in and taking over, as much as there's lots of pros and cons for all of them, I, I think the vote should go with someone like Harry. And I wonder if he did think for a moment that the future of the monarchy was in jeopardy and that might, you know, would that trigger a change in his decisions? Would that be the stimulus to go, actually, do you know what? I might return to duties because they need a younger person in there that, that could really, yeah, like I say, future-proof the monarchy. Mm. It's taken the step aside, though, and I guess there have been so many headlines attached mm. to Harry and Meghan right now. That's, it would be a big step for them to come back, wouldn't yeah. it? It would almost be backtracking in many respects. But what do you think, um, Jane, about it? Should they be pulling in other members that we don't see so often? Yeah, I mean, first of all, just on the Queen, she's 95. Um, you know, the whole thing of being in the, the, the working royal family is that you're expected to go, you know, up to Harrogate on a rainy afternoon and shake hands with dignitaries and then be down in Devon the next day. And it's exhausting, it's exhausting. Um, um, but I do think that she has to do Zoom because it's either that or be, be you know, in, in front of the thing with today's paper showing that she's still sort yeah. of going strong because otherwise people would panic. <laughs> um, on the Harry theatre, Harry and Meghan, I think that they do resonate with youngsters as celebrities, mm. I don't think they resonate with the... I think the royal family has an issue, per se, with resonating with youngsters. I think a lot of young people in this country think, what is the point of, of the royal family? And, and actually, the point is those duties. Mm. It is doing those, you know, those, those things that nobody particularly wants to do on a rainy day in a sports centre in wherever, that Princess Anne does incredibly a lot of. She's a you know, solid working royal. And you don't hear And Harry and Meghan have made it quite clear they don't want to do that. For sure. So I don't think their future does lie no. lie with the monarchy. Mm -hmm. But I would, I would, if, you know, you're talking about replacements with the Queen, I think Camilla's very good. I think Camilla is, you know, hardworking. I think Princess Anne I would put in there as well because she's doing the job anyway. Um, and maybe Prince Charles. Uh, I am... Um, here's my quick input. Um, I think my... my fear about the Queen resting and stopping is that, for me, you know, the Queen has spent her whole life living for what she does and she's brilliant and, and I'm frightened that if she stops, she may stop completely. Mm. You know, like when people get older and all of a sudden they stop work and then they just kind of give up and, and if she sees someone taking over and doing it well... Yeah. Your purpose and I, sort of... Your purpose kind of yeah. goes and I don't want her, per her ever to feel that she no. has no purpose. And also... You know, she's resting as well, because we have to remember as well, she's grieving the love of her life mm -hmm. as well. We kind of forget that because she's always yeah. so mm. stoic. You know, my sister's yeah. husband died over 10 years ago and she still grieves to this day. Oh, so cool. hers is so recent. Mm. Exactly. So, and her life yeah. has been duty, isn't it? It's all she, yeah. she chose and she her. stepped yeah. up at a very young age yeah. and it's all she's ever known. But so. I think she's probably watching right now, so... Hello, oh, Mum. Oh, yes, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> really, don't, uh, don't think it is.